Hello friends, welcome back. Today is in the 90s again, but I've got my air conditioner on and it's that time of year, so time to start canning. So today I'm going to make some jam and first thing I'm going to do is prepare my jars by washing them out with some really good hot soapy water and I'm going to put the lids in some hot water to just kind of soak. I don't know if everyone does that. That's how I was taught to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I got my hot water bath heating up. And I'm going to start with strawberry raspberry jam. So I've got in here five cups of fruit. I have two cups of strawberries and three cups of raspberries. And I'm just going to smash them up a little bit with a potato masher. And then I'm going to add seven cups of sugar, just plain white sugar. I'm going to mix that in real good. And I want to add that my heat is on a medium heat. I just let the fruit heat up slowly to a full rolling boil. And that's when I added my sugar. So I get that all mixed up real good. And when your fruit starts boiling, it's creating a lot of foam. So I add half a teaspoon of butter. That kind of keeps the foam from getting too out of control. It's not a perfectly necessary step, but I do it. I'm also gonna add six tablespoons of a fruit pectin and mix that up real good, making sure that all of the little clumps are mixed in. And periodically, I'm just gonna come back and check, and you can see it's boiling here, but when I stir it, it kinda makes the boiling go away. So I'm looking for this to come back up to a full rolling boil, one that when I stir it, it won't stop. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna prepare my jars. I just wanna use a dish towel, a dark colored one to put over the top of this because when I put my jam in here, it's probably gonna spill all over. So I'm just preparing for a mess. Get my jars in place. I always have extra jars just in case, although I know approximately how many I'm gonna use. So you can see here it is Still, it's it's a good boil, but it's still able to be tamed when stirring it. So I'm just looking for a really good boil, which I have here. You can see when I stir it, it doesn't slow down. That's what I want, and that's when I'm going to start timing. I'm going to keep stirring it for a full minute, and I'm going to time it like this and let it just boil. Okay, so something that I do, I've never even heard of anyone else doing this. I, I don't know why I do it, I just do. I put one ladle full in each jar and to me it kind of just prepares the jar for the heat. And I do this in about four jars, four pint sized jars because that's about what this recipe will make. And I just put it in there. I do have extra jars just in case, but I put it in about a ladle full, like I said, and then I just kind of swirl it around a little bit and prepare the glass for the heat. Then I go ahead and fill them up the rest of the way uh, to the bottom of the rim. So I don't know if you've ever mixed the raspberry and the strawberry together. It's just a really good flavor. The raspberry, I love raspberry jam by itself, but with just two cups of strawberry added in there, it just gives it this extra kick and it's just so sweet and just tastes like summer. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, I do clean off the rims with a clean wet towel and you can see how much gets on the rim. Like you wouldn't think that it was on there, but it is. And you just want a really clean um, top to put your lids on. And uh, of course, never use a jar that's got any cracks in it or chips. Um, you want a good, good seal on it. So that's why I do that. And then I go ahead and put my lids on and, and then I put the rings on there as well 
and I use the towel to hold the jar and get the rings on as tight as I can. So the rings you could technically remove later after the jar is sealed, you can remove those rings later and reuse them if you want. Um, but yeah, I got some pretty ones, so I might leave them on there. These will probably end up being gifts at Christmas time for my neighbors, so that's why I wanted pretty lids. Okay, so once my lids are on, I'm gonna put them in the hot water bath. I wanna make sure that my water is above the jar lids. I want them completely submerged in that water. And I'm gonna let them process for about 10 minutes. And after that 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove them and just set them on the side and just let them cool down. And you'll hear them pop and you'll, you'll hear them seal, and that's what that pop sound is. Um, you're not always gonna hear that sound, so if you don't, um, periodically go back and check. You can press on the lid, and if it's in tight, then it's sealed. If it makes a sound, then it's not sealed. Okay, so time for the next batch of jam, and I like to do small batches. Uh, this one is four cups of raspberries and two cups of blueberries and they're frozen so um, I didn't buy like the bags. These are fresh We went and picked but I had stuck them in the freezer earlier and I love to be able to Stick something in the freezer and then make jam out of it later So easy. So I'm gonna use the potato masher and just kind of mash up those blueberries just a little bit not too much and a half a teaspoon of butter for the foam control. And the same thing, I'm gonna use six tablespoons of fruit pectin and seven cups of sugar. And I'm gonna mix that all up and just repeat the process. I'm gonna wait for it to come to a full rolling boil and keep checking it until it really is a full rolling boil untamed by stirring or mixing and then I'm going to time it for a full minute and wait for it to thicken up. That's when it's thickening up so that's an important step you don't want to skip. Okay so I'm waiting so I wanted to show you this. See how there's no sound? But hear that? That one's not sealed yet. The rest of them don't make that sound, they're, they're in. This one's just not sealed yet. So I wanted to point that out to you so you would know what it sounds like and you would know if it's sealed or not. So it's came to a full rolling boil, so I'm just gonna time it for a minute, like I said, and I'm going to put it in my jars just like I did before and process it just exactly like I did before, a full 10 minutes completely submerged under that hot water bath. Okay, something to keep in mind, sometimes when you're filling your jars, you have a little bit left over that's not quite enough to fill another jar, but you don't wanna waste it. Go ahead and stick it in some Tupperware or even in a jar, it doesn't have to fill it all the way, and stick it in your fridge. Uh, a lot of people new at canning may think that just because it's not processed means it's not jam yet, and that's not true. It's already jam you're just processing it to seal the jar to preserve it for longer. But it's already jammed, so if you wanna stick it in your fridge for now, unsealed, by all means do that.
so here they are done ready to go in my pantry and i'll have plenty of jam for winter so hope you guys liked this video hope you're having a great day and i'll talk to you next time bye bye